Hello, my name is Melissa San Miguel, and I'm a Democrat running for District 9 Supervisor. I was born and raised in the Mission, and I'm the proud daughter of Peruvian immigrants who arrived to this country without speaking any English. I am the first generation of my family to be born here in the U.S., and the first generation to go to college. I also come from a working class union family. My dad was lucky enough to get a union job here in San Francisco. He was a stationary engineer, part of Local 39, and worked the swing shift in the boiler room of the Fairmont Hotel for over 30 years. It is tough, physically demanding work, and his body today shows the wear and tear of all those years. My brother followed in my dad's footsteps and is a stationary engineer with the union. My mom has been the heart of our family, protecting my siblings and I from the gang violence that existed in the mission when I was growing up. She has been an optician working for optometrists on Mission Street for decades. My sister is an elementary school teacher and was an instructor at City College in the Mission. And I am running because my family and I were given an opportunity and I feel I need to give back. I am a proud product of our city's public schools. As a kid from the Mission, I was lucky enough to get into Lowell High. It took three buses and an hour and a half to get to Lowell one way. But my experience at Lowell was life-changing. As students, we had numerous opportunities for advanced coursework and various extracurricular activities. However, I was sadly struck to see that my neighbors and childhood friends did not have these same opportunities. As a college student, I knew I needed to do something about this. I led a student group at UC Berkeley that aimed to increase the number of Latinos going to and staying in college. I ultimately graduated as class valedictorian in political science at UC Berkeley. I knew the opportunities I had received were not given to everyone, especially the immigrant, low-income communities of color that I come from. So I moved to Sacramento to understand the policymaking process and learn how to make it work for the underserved. I was a governor's fellow at the State Department of Education and saw firsthand the effects of the Great Recession on our government, its programs, and the people we served. It became clear to me that we needed people to advocate for policies and resources that benefited vulnerable, marginalized communities. I fundamentally believe in mentoring the next generation and being inclusive of various communities. In 2012, I was an at-large California delegate to the Democratic National Convention, casting my vote for President Obama. I have also been a San Francisco 8017 delegate to the California Democratic Party. In these roles, I have fought for the inclusion of women, young people, and people of color in the political process. Moreover, I've been an education advocate fighting a broken and inequitable system so that our kids could realize their full potential, live out their dreams, and be free. In my work at the National Center for Youth Law, I successfully advocated to expand state education services to 40,000 students in foster care, expanded the state budget for foster youth by two-thirds, and reformed the 30-year-old state program that served them. I also successfully expanded in coalition the state budget for English learners, low-income students, and students in foster care generally. I know how to build coalitions and get things done. And there is so much to do. I see disparities not only in our education system, but across our daily lives. I see the inequalities and gaps in access to housing, access to jobs and childcare, equal pay, access to healthy foods, public safety, and even health outcomes. As supervisor, I will fight to build affordable housing, fight income inequality in our city, and make investments in education. I am the only candidate born and raised in this district, the only candidate whose entire family lives in the district. My mom, dad, brother, sister, little niece and nephew live in this community, and every future policy decision will affect every person I love. I am wholly committed to the success of our neighborhoods. I have dedicated my career to uplifting underserved communities because I have never forgotten where I come from and how many of us are being left behind. I'm here to listen and to be a voice for our community because I know the struggle to be seen and heard. Everyday people have been ignored for far too long in City Hall, and our community deserves more and deserves better, and I'm here to fight to make that happen, and I hope to earn your vote. Thank you.